I always like the idea of having a windmill of some kind in my backyard. This is uh, a small one. It gives out me really milliamps instead of uh, amps. So I can use it to charge uh, AA batteries. Uh, today I worked on a uh, Savonius type uh, wind turbine. Uh, I use uh, some stove pipes from Home Depot, six inches uh, in diameter. So when you stretch it out, it comes to about 12 inches. Uh, the diameter of this uh, windmill is about 18 inches. And instead of uh, making my own alternator, uh, I bought this uh, PMA uh, car type alternator. Uh, it's supposed to be able to produce uh, amperage at uh, low RPM. Um, I don't actually think I'm going to make too much uh, electricity, if at all. Uh, but like I said, I like the idea of a, a windmill, so I'm going to give it a try. Um, so this is a close-up of it. I basically riveted, riveted the uh, unit together uh, to a thin sheet of plywood. And I temporarily braced it uh, using my uh, basketball hoop. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give it a hand spin and see. Let's see here. Okay, I can get uh, actually about uh, three, four, five watts. So this is hardly enough to uh, generate uh, any electricity to uh, to charge batteries. These solar panels work much better, and even this broken uh, solar cell panel can give me uh, at least five watts into the. Uh, into the uh, grid tie. So there is a little bit of wind, but I don't think uh, this uh, wind turbine will start uh, until you have uh, fairly strong wind. Okay, so if I do any, if I do get any kind of wind from that uh, Savonius. Uh, if there's anything about th about uh, three volts or three point five or about four volts, uh, I will try to um, put it into this gadget here. Here, this is a uh, DC to DC step up converter. Uh, when you input anything over three point five volt, it will uh, step it up to over twelve volt and therefore you can use it to charge the battery. Uh, this is supposed to be 60 watts or maybe 4 amps or so. I kind of doubt that I, I will be getting that kind of amperage from that Savonius uh, turbine unless it's really spinning. Uh, I do have a fuse on it so if it goes up to anything higher than 60 watts uh, the fuse will blow so this is basically just an experiment uh, the uh, solar part of my uh, setup here works much better than the wind uh, even with a 15 watt solar panel the sun force I can uh, charge my uh, battery really well uh, the other part of my solar panels go into uh, this grid tie here and 
today is uh, pretty decent. It's about 97 watts, not bad. You can hear that uh, grid tire coming on, or the fan coming on. Uh, so I'll keep you informed, maybe in a later video, when I get uh, everything set up and if, if I really get some kind of wind. But right now it does spin. If you spin it by hand, it's not not too wobbly. It's difficult for me to uh, to show you because there's really no wind, so I have to go in and spin it for you. But it does spin, doesn't wobble too much, so. We'll see. Um, I see a lot of people on YouTube uh, with the Savonias and all different kinds of uh, wind turbine, but they don't really have uh, motors or alternators or generators attached to them. And of course, anything without uh, friction will spin somewhat freely. So. Instead of, uh, like I said, uh, making my own alternator, I uh, got this uh, PMA off eBay about uh, for about $130. Uh, I can't even draw a straight line, so <laughs> I think uh, it would be a real challenge for me to uh, to make my to machine my own uh, axial flux. Uh, alternator and rewind coils and casting them and doing all sorts of uh, complicated engineering so maybe someone uh, will come up with a uh, simple kit uh, I can use but right now this is it so well I keep talking and uh, hoping for some wind but uh, I guess uh, it's not coming the only thing that is spinning at all would, is this little job here. Okay, I want you to uh, see this little birdhouse of mine. Actually, uh, sparrows were getting into them and uh, building a nest. I have this thing up here for the longest time and uh, no birds ever never came to build a nest and uh, this year the sparrows are building a nest so that's something interesting all right that's it for now have a good day